Hello, Ben Moore here from Training with BM, helping you to work smarter, not harder. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you one of the most requested videos so far to date on my channel. And that is how to create and upload your own background in Google Meet. So in previous videos, I've shown you how to use Snap Camera and also Google Meet integrated backgrounds alongside the Google Meet blur feature on background as well. But today's video is how to upload your own image and use it as your background in Google Meet. So it is worth noting that your IT manager or network manager would have to enable this feature in the admin console for it to work. And I'll show them how to do that at the end of this video so you can share this video with them as well. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm on the new Google Meet landing page here. And if you haven't checked out my previous video to see the navigation of this page, please go and check that out first. But I'm gonna create a new meeting here and start an instant meeting, which will load me into a live meeting straight away. So as you can see at the moment, I'm currently in school with the slight blur background blur on at the moment. Now to change my background to any image, I'm gonna to go to the three dots or the traffic lights in the bottom right hand corner of my screen and click change background. Now, once your IT admin has enabled the feature, you'll see the plus icon here and it says use image from disk. So this means you can select an image from your computer downloads and use that as your background image in Google Meet. So by clicking on this, it will load up your downloads window and you can select any image that appears in here. So I've downloaded a few earlier. So for example, this is the Strictly set. Uh, which I've got on the screen at the moment. It's a nice, crisp, high quality image, which is really nice on my screen. It works pretty well with the blur. It's got a little bit of a sort of a fuzzy look around my hair and shirt. But apart from that, a really nice, high quality image. And I'll show you where I've got those in just a little while. But I'm also going to click on here and just add more than one in. So I don't just uh, get the one, I can add as many as I like. Uh, at least I haven't found a limit to that yet. Uh, so I might want a football stadium on here or I might even want this Lego City prison break um, on here as well. So you can use any background you want here as long as it is educational um, or, or at least uh, suitable for education. Um, and the great thing is that once you have these in here, these apply to all Google Meets after this point. You don't have to re-upload for every meeting you go into. Uh, they do save automatically in here uh, for any and every meeting. And if you leave this one on, for example, and leave a meet and join back into the meeting, that will still appear. So that's really good. And if you do want to delete one for whatever reason, you can just hover over and just click the little bin icon and it says remove image, okay? So that's, uh, that's a really nice, easy way to personalize your Google Meet and use any image from your computer um, as your background in Google Meet. And I, I love using it, uh, my students love using it, um, and hopefully you will as well. So please like, share, and subscribe to this video. I really appreciate all your input and interaction with my videos at the moment. It, ring, it means so much to me. Um, so please, please feel free to share and all that usual stuff that you do. Uh, but now I'm gonna show IT admins how to enable this feature in the admin console. So once you're in the admin console, you need to go to the app section. Uh, and once that loads, you need to go onto the Google Workspace or Core Services uh, button that appears in the first uh, box there. Then you need to click on Google Meet. And then if you click on Meet Video Settings and scroll down till you find Backgrounds, you click on Backgrounds, and this box that says Let Users Select Custom Images should be unselected for you. And obviously, you can apply this to different organizational units within your domain. So if you want staff to have access but students not to have access, you have that ability as well. As soon as you tick that and apply that to your organizational units and click save, that is a live update and should appear in Google Meet uh, in a matter of, of a few minutes really. Um, I know Google quote 24 to 48 hours, but it should appear uh, almost instantaneously uh, in, my, in my experience. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free to share with other IT managers or anyone that might find it useful. Uh, please stay tuned for my next video and I'll see you there. Take care.